Jonathan and Tutu in lane number one, silver in the 100 metres, third in the 100 in London, and runner-up in the worlds over this discipline involved here in lane number one, but we've got Savin Panita, who is the gold medalist in the 100 metres in the world, champion in the 100 and the 200 involved here, Kamreyev from Uzbekistan, who was a part of the bronze medal winning team in the 4x100 relay, fifth overall in this event at the worlds. Here is Savon Pineda would go in as narrow favourite here overall in the men's 200. He's the world champion. He's also the Parapan American champion in the 100 and the 200. The man from Havana. Here is Marty Afri. Silver in the 400. Bright talent at 20 years of age. Qualified in 22.69. It's a pretty hot heat actually. And Jonathan in Tutu, as I mentioned, meddling in London and also here in Rio in the 100 and second best in the 200 of the Worlds. So a good field. On you, Max. Very comfortable in his first round, Savin Panita. He'd expect much of the same, but the first in each heat going through. So he'd want to win it, then the next two fastest advancing. 22.69. was run by Abdirashadov from Uzbekistan previously but was beaten by Langenhover in the first semi-final 22.50 that's the benchmark 22.50 from that first semi-final expect this to be quicker ready and away Kamreyev on the outside away well but Savon Pineda look at that driving into the stagger and goes into the lead Afri and Intutu in a battle of their own on the inside around the turn. Seven Pineda, man on a mission today. Kicks away from Afri and Intutu. Seven Pineda, now he switches off near the line from Afri. This is impressive. He'll be the favourite in the final. 22-29. 22-29 clearly beats the time of Langenhoven. But both athletes failing to show their hand, really. There's plenty left in the tank for both of them. Afri in second position. And he has clocked the personal best 22.58 in two to a season's best 22.87. But how are they going to beat this man? The world champion in both the 100, 200 discipline. He's converted that into a Paralympic gold medal in the 100 dash. Jeez, he is in outstanding form. Well, to answer your earlier question, with great difficulty, by far he's the man to beat Savin Pineda, and by the turn, well clear, just about had it won. 22-28, a good time. The only thing that stopped the Cubans in the sprinting, a little mishap to Castillo, unfortunately. Injured in the one and then out for the rest of the competition. Savin Pineda's more than making up for that. The double champion of the worlds over one and two in Doha. And he's carrying that form across with him here to Rio. Afri in second. Good candidate, 22-58. Again, I don't think he was pushing very much. And Tutu might have just squeaked in as well as the fastest loser. 22.98 was his target. But as it happens, Safan Pineda will make it. Afri certainly will make it as well. And then Tutu will actually just miss out in the final. Well, he was number five today, but he's number one overall, isn't he? 